Ah yes, Clash of Clans. I love this game, but it's definitely not perfect, and over the years I've let all my frustrations out in this series. This is episode 11 of 25 Things Players Hate in Clash of Clans, and man do I got a lot to say. So let's get right to it. Let's do this. When you realize there was a clan game challenge for something you were just doing, but because you didn't activate it, it doesn't count. <laughs> what the? Get zero stars in war? Take a screenshot and zoom in on the Archer Queen. Oh, hold on, I forgot to do that one. Breathe? No. <laughs> nah, but really, stuff like donating, get stars, or destroy this building. You know, things we're already doing all the time. I always activate it too late. How there's no attack again button in Clan Capital Attacks? Look, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not changing my goddamn army. I ain't got time for that. I make one army for the weekend and it's gonna be the same sh for all five attacks. I mean, if it works, it works. I think they should add a button to do it again, whether it's with the same army or without, I don't know. Going through menus after every attack is kind of annoying. Not being able to fill someone's clan castle by yourself depending on what they request is ridiculous and feels very outdated. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. If they request troops with big housing space like a golem, hogs, or your mom, you would have no problem filling it. But if for some reason they request, I don't know, archers or wizards or something, you can't fill it by yourself no matter what level your clan is. And I find that very annoying. When your color text troll doesn't work and now it's awkward. Uh... Anyways, Edrax spam, am I right? When heroes ignore the one building that's killing them, like the f***ing building has ligma. Hey, uh, guys, there's a single inferno tower right there that's probably gonna kill you. I mean, I'm just trying to help you out here. I think you guys should, uh... Okay. Good looking sceneries that have terrible music. It's unfortunate because I feel like I'm missing out on a portion of the experience by muting it, but sometimes I can't stand it. When you forget to drop your siege machine, sometimes I start the attack and realize <laughs> I never dropped my log launcher and I'm sitting here wondering why everyone is going around the globe. It's like I happen to not see that I didn't do it. <laughs> Gee, I really got a way off of Zaza. Nah, but really, I can't be the only one. It's because when you drop a siege machine, it doesn't gray out like other troops, so sometimes I forget and assume it's already in the field somewhere by glancing at the button, but my dumb ass didn't realize that never happened. <laughs> It's happened a few times, more than I'm willing to admit. When your dragons get caught in an air sweeper loop. This is what hell must be like for all dragons. That damn thing is so OP, no wonder they haven't added any levels in 8 years. When you keep facing higher town holes than you in Legends League. I don't know what I expected of Legends League, but it certainly wasn't attacking max town 16s 8 times a day and being attacked by them. Like what the hell, I barely just got to town 15 a month or two ago. It feels so unfair when you're struggling to get 2 stars at times, meanwhile you're getting absolutely shredded on defense. Incomplete skin sets. Come on, man, just make a clockwork champion already. Someone already made a concept, so just pay them for it and put it in the shop. I don't think it's that easy, but whatever. Or what about the rogue set? Where the fuck is the warden? Did they just forget he exists? When you just finish grinding levels for an equipment and then a way better one comes out. Mountain Golem Puppet? OP Gem? The Twilight Saga 5 movie collection in Blu-ray? Oh, I just spent all the ores. Nah, but really, I don't hate new equipment, but I do hate when I spend all my ores on something I probably won't use again. That sucks. What a huge waste of time. These kind of bases. <laughs> The ones that got the Eagle Artillery, Monolith, and the Taho in completely opposite sides of the base. I don't know what they're called, but I sure as hell know what they look like. You better hope the side you attack from wasn't the side the defender expected you to attack from. There's always a strategy to 3 star these bases, they're not impossible or anything, but damn, they never fail to give me a hard time. When you open the events tab and it's just things to buy. Another day, another shop offer, right? Honestly, I was expecting to see some challenges or events, you know? But no, there's just more sh** to buy. You ever just look at a troop and you're like, dang, that looks cool. That's a troop I want to use. But then it's super underwhelming or outclassed by a lot of other troops, so you don't even bother again. I kind of hate that. I, I wish all troops remained viable throughout all town halls, but the fact is, that's not the case. Some troops just begin to get ass after a certain town hall. Luckily with hero equipment, it does appear some troops are making a comeback at higher town halls like Valkyrie and Super Witches. So maybe one day, all troops will have a place in the meta. 
when it takes them forever to add the only skin or scenery you want in the shop. Gee, I thought they'd be in a rush to take my money, but I guess not. With every new update, there's potential for new bugs, and although it's not a huge deal, I find it very annoying how upgrades have the cost of it in red letters, despite me having enough resources for it. Should have seen my face when I first saw this, I was hella confused and staring at it for a good minute. <coughs> Speaking of bugs, there's also one that doesn't let you view someone's profile or base before accepting them into the clan. Like, how am I supposed to know whether to let them in or not? There's quite a few bugs in this update, but um, I guess it could be worse, right? When you stop playing for a couple days and drop out of Legends League. This may be a blessing to those who don't want to be there, but if you do want to be there, buying a shield is absolutely necessary. I went away for a few short days recently, and I came back to a 4800 with no league. Like what? How did I lose 300 trophies so damn quick? Builder base sceneries. I almost spent $7 on one, but thank god I didn't because I almost got bamboozled. Why the hell does it show the preview of it being on both sides? It's not like that. And it never says that it's not, so it's very easy to not know and feel scammed when you finally get it and see for yourself. Honestly, I think we should be able to enable it for both sides if we want. That would make builder base sceneries worth their price. $7 for one side? No. Hell no, dog. The Root Rider. It's available at Telho 15, and that's cool and all, but the barracks. It's obviously themed for Telho 16. I'm pretty sure they just changed their mind last minute and thought, well, what the hell? Make it available for Telho 15. And I can't stop thinking about how out of place it looks in my base. It's not a big deal. The game's still playable and everything, but it's kind of like the Air Sweeper situation. Something that isn't the same theme as 99% of the base is bound to look out of place and catch my eye's attention. <laughs> How the game has to reload if you happen to pull down the control center while in the clouds <laughs> or in a loading screen? I guess it was a bad time to turn down the brightness. Didn't think I'd break the game. The blacksmith, why does it tell you you can upgrade something when you can't? Am I crazy? Is it just my game or what? This has got to be one of the most annoying bugs. I'll upgrade something and it still shows other upgrades being available, right? Okay, good. I I guess I could do two upgrades. But when you go try to upgrade something else, uh, nope, you don't got the yours for it. The hell are you doing here? The only way it updates is if you close the blacksmith and reopen it, and having to do that after every upgrade is really annoying. Hell, there's no casual way of obtaining starry ores. Having to do clan wars and participate in special events is a fair way of getting the most rare ore. I guess. But unlike Clan League medals, where you don't really need them to progress in the game, you'll eventually need Starry Ore. I just wish there was a more passive or casual way of obtaining it. Maybe the Raid Metal Shop or an Ore Mod. How expensive it is to complete an entire cosmetic set. I'm talking all four skins plus the scenery. It's gotten so expensive nowadays. Some sets are like 40 bucks. The price of a full game. Long gone are the days of being able to complete a set with just the gold pass. Now all the gold pass gives you is the first skin of a set that you gotta buy. I know you don't have to buy anything in this game, but it's unfortunate that the only thing I do like to buy has gotten so out of hand. Tell Hall themes. They're generally well thought out and cool to look at. I mean, you'd hope so. You're gonna be staring at it for months or years. But do you ever just not like one? Uh, personally, I don't look forward to Town Hall 16. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the colors. The same goes for Town Hall 6. Those walls are something else. But hey, what are you gonna do about it? I really hope one day they revisit that Town Hall 9 theme. Uh, just a little different, obviously. But yeah, that one was badass. Equipment and the fact that it makes some skins less special. Personally, this one doesn't bother me, but I've seen tons of discussions from skin enthusiasts on the issue. Like the Queen's Ice Arrow replaces any special shot she used to have. The same goes for the Champion's Shield animations and the King and Queen's puppets. Now, you don't have to change your equipment, of course, but the fact is the default ones are beginning to feel ass compared to the new ones. So any cool features a skin may have introduced are now completely irrelevant. And it's just a bummer, you know? So guys, that wraps up this episode. That's all I could come up with this time around. Uh, see you in three years.